Good evening, Excellency, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Cambodia Global Dialogue. Uh, as you all know, this year, 2012, Cambodia is sharing the ASEAN. And what I believe that is important is that, you know, as Cambodia move to be a regional actor in the ASEAN community, there is a great opportunity to attract foreign direct investment to come to this country. And the, today I have the pleasure to have a, a, a very good friend, uh, a, a former colleague, and he is something that is so knowledgeable about foreign direct investment. And here I have the pleasure to invite today His Excellency uh, uh, Senior Minister Sun Jan Tol, and I like to call you Bong Jan Tol. That's right? fine, that yes. would be great. Yeah. Uh, uh, welcome Bong Jan Tol. Thank you very much for the opportunity to, to come on to your show to talk about the investment, yeah, the foreign direct investment to, to Cambodia. As you rightly said, uh, that you know, this year Cambodia will be the chairman of ASEAN and the FDI is play a very important role in the development of our country. Yes. And our role at the CDC is to promote the investment to the country. Yes. The investment that create jobs yes. for our people. Yes. So I'm here to share with you yes. how we go about promoting yeah. the investment and also share with you what is our strength yes. in order to attract FDI to the country. Yes. Uh, well, uh, you know, for, for the audience, just, just to set the stage is that, yep, you know, Section C. Sun Yatol is the first Secretary General of the Cambodian Development Council, the CDC. He helped start the CDC. He was the one who drafted the investment law. Later on, he moved to become a minister of uh, public work and transport. So in terms of uh, building road infrastructure, very good at that. And in recent year, he, he become a, a senior uh, minister uh, in charge of investment. Um, but at the same time, I, I, in the context of ASEAN, I have to stress that he also carry another portfolio as the chair of the uh, social cultural uh, council, community council, community council uh, in ASEAN. Mm -hmm. So he's one of the the three pillar, and he's the chair of one the pillar. The other political pillar is uh, His Excellency uh, Deputy Prime Minister Hanum Hong, and the second pillar, e economic community, ASEAN economic community, is a senior minister Champasit. So we couldn't have a better speaker today to discuss about how Cambodia should, you know, position to attract foreign direct investment. So, when you talk, uh, give me, you know, a bit your vision, how you see the next couple of years, how we are able to attract, you know, uh, in what sector and uh, why people should come to Cambodia. Mm -hmm. First, uh, let me address the question why. Yes. That, that when we go out to promote investment, yes. we go to different countries. Yes. You know, we go to China, we go to Hong Kong, we go to Korea, we go to Japan, yes. Malaysia, and so on and so forth in order to attract the potential yes. investor to invest in our country. Yeah. So every time you go, you have yeah. to actually, you have to sell, mm. sell Cambodia in yes. the sense that you must talk yes. about the strength of the country mm. because the investor had the opportunity to invest in another country. Yes. Cambodia is not the only country I agree. that can attract FDI. I agree. I agree. Other countries around us also work very hard yes. to attract every investment dollar to the country. You mean competition, competition is ferocious. Very, very strong. Yes. So we had to you know, be able to sell ourselves yes. also. Yes. And here are the reasons that I normally hmm. tell the potential investor the reason why they should come to Cambodia. Yes. One, the political stability hmm. is the key for it's any clear. investor yes. to invest in any country. Yes. If a country is not stable politically, mm -hmm. there's no one Mm. We'll put millions of dollars in that country. But Cambodia, yeah. we had a political stability. Yeah. So we have election every five years, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the ruling party yeah. will continue to dominate yeah. the political scene in Cambodia yeah. the next 10, 15, 20 years. So that we provide the stability yeah. to the investor. Particularly the for, for long, big BOT projects exactly. that cost millions of dollars. It's long-term investment, even short-term investment, yes. you have to provide the political stability. Yes. We do not want to put in money in mm. and they have to move out of mm. the country of because okay. of the internal conflict in yes. the country. Yes. And if the government keep on changing, yes. 
it's also very hard to do business. Yeah, but I agree. Thanks to the strong leadership yes. of our prime minister, yeah. I'd be able to go out there mm. and convince yeah. the that yeah. that for sure yes. our prime minister is the longest serving prime minister in Asia. Yeah. Election every five years yeah. from a communal election mm. to the national election. Yes. And the ruling party continued to dominate. Yeah. Uh, like I said, mm. we control over two thirds. Yes, yes. A seat in National mm. Assembly. Okay. So there's no mm. political party or opposition party that can have a confident, no confident vote yes. to get rid of this government. Exactly. Only through yes. the general election every mm. five years. So that's a good point. Political stability set the stage. Set the stage. And then, then what? What are the ticks? Uh, uh, the investor once they they, they feel secure politically. Really. Yeah. When they feel secure on the political situation, yeah. they always want to know the macro economic mm. situation of country. Yes. Is this country stable mm. in terms of economic situation? Yeah. Macro economic situation. Again, yeah. the macro economic stability in Cambodia is outstanding. Yeah. So when we talk about macro economic stability, yeah. you talk about what? You talk about GDP growth. Mm -hmm. So we look at the last, last 10 years. Our growth is average over 9.3 percent, one of the top or the fastest growing economy mm. in in the world, if you will. Yeah. You look at the inflation. Yeah. The inflation is relatively low, mm -hmm. around four to five percent mm -hmm. per annum. Yeah. Single digit. Single digit. Look at the exchange rate. Is yeah. the exchange rate is stable? Very stable. Very that stable. Around four thousand yeah, real yeah, yeah. to a dollar in the last yeah, yeah, yeah. fifteen years. Mm. Mm. You look at the budget. Deficit is yes. this country borrow to consume yeah. or borrow to invest? Or invest, you're right. That's and a big difference. Very big difference. Yeah. We have low budget deficit. Mm -hmm. We also have a low uh, uh, trade deficit. Yeah. yeah. So all this mm -hmm. is part of the macroeconomic stability. Mm -hmm. So with that, the people have the confidence that look, yeah. if I invest in Cambodia, mm -hmm. I put the money in today. Yeah, if, yeah. Let's yeah. say a dollar, I yeah. can get four thousand real. Yeah. Next week, I get 5,000 real or get 2,000 real to yeah, a dollar. Yeah, exactly. It's very hard to exactly. do business. To plan. To plan. Yeah? So we need to have that macroeconomic stability. Yes. Same with inflation. Yes. If today you buy, let's say, one product, let's say a bottle of water, let's yes. say, it cost you 500 real. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The next day, it costs you yeah. 10,000 real. Yes, yes. It's, it's like a yo yo. Yes. Yeah. So it's very hard to mm -hmm. do business mm -hmm. in a country. Where there's no political stability, yeah. there's no macroeconomic stability. Yeah. So these are two main points yeah, yeah. to mm. attract mm. the FDI. Yeah. The next point would be the attitude yes. of the government yes. toward the private sector. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. I government private sector relation tell if, if, if I the can say. investor yeah. that Cambodian government. It's a pro-business government. Yes, yes indeed. Pro-business in the sense that we consider the private sector mm -hmm. as the engine of yeah. our economic growth. Yes, yes. So what do we do? We have to facilitate. Mm -hmm. Cambodian government does not want to be the manager of the private sector. Yes. We want to be the facilitator. Facilitator, yes. yes to facilitate yes. the yeah. investment yeah. to the country. Yeah. So we organize. Mm -hmm organize what we call the government private sector mm -hmm. forum yes. every six months. Yes. But before we move to this forum, we also mm. have working group. Yes. Eight working group yes. that co-chair by the government minister mm. and the private sector. Yeah. The working group, for example, on inf infrastructure, mm -hmm. in banking, taxation, yeah. tourism, Export, agriculture, yeah, yeah, and yeah. so on and so forth. Yeah. So this working group yeah. work together. Yeah. They meet regularly try to resolve any issues mm. facing by the private sector, yeah. by the business yeah. community in mm -hmm. Cambodia. Yeah. If they cannot resolve mm -hmm. that issue, mm. that issue can be raised during the government private se sector forum. Chair by the Prime Minister. Chair by the Prime Minister, the whole cabinet of Cambodia yes, yeah. sit in that meeting, yeah. yes. broadcast live. Yes. So all issue can be resolved right there and then, and, what and it's considered as a cabinet decision. Exactly. Yeah. You know, I, I I have to interject this a bit uh, 
that uh, the 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 IFC, the International Finance Corporation, yes. have right. done a survey of this sort of government private mm -hmm. sector yes. partnership consultation worldwide, right? And, mm -hmm. and in many countries. And Cambodia ranked number one in terms of government private sector consultation. That's Absolutely. Unbelievable. Absolutely. And that's what I also uh, tell the potential investor yeah. during my roadshow. Yeah. That IFC did a survey of 24 countries mm -hmm. around the world. Yes. That IFC helped. Yes, 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 yeah, indeed, indeed. Help organize that private sector, government sector for, uh, forum. Yes. Cambodia ranked first in yes. terms of effectiveness. Yes. In terms of productivity mm -hmm. of the yes the the forum. Yes. So that pro business yeah. government. Yeah. And you know, the accessibility. Yeah. To the government official. Exactly. Anybody can call me on my mobile. Yes. <laughs> they can text me SMS. They yes. can send me an email. Yes. Try that with other government yeah, around the region. Right. It's you impossible. Tell me about that. Yeah. It's hard yeah. even to meet yes. the director general or yeah. the government official mm -hmm. in another country. Yeah. But in Cambodia, yeah. so, so easy. So accessibility is important because yeah. you can communicate, exactly. you can understand, you can discuss. You know, uh, in terms of uh, um, sector. Where do you see the future source of growth where investor could uh, step in and yep. you know invest there? Before I go to that sector, may I yeah. also yeah. give you other reason? Yes, okay, you know, okay because sure. that's important it's for, still, for still the investor. The, uh, yeah, 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 important okay. yeah. need to know. Yeah, uh, another reason is that Cambodian investment law mm. provide one of the most liberal investment incentives to investor. When I said competitive yes. and liberal yeah. investment incentive. I'm talking about corporate income tax, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. 20%, yes. which is the lowest in the region. Mm -hmm. No import duties. Yes. No discrimination mm -hmm. between a foreign investor and yes. a local investor. Yes. Because yes. in Cambodia, there's no alien business law. Yes. So every economic sector mm. is open, open yeah. to all investors. Yeah. Tell me which country yes. in the world yes. that allow a foreign to own 100% yes. banking license. Yes, exactly. 100% telecom sector. Yes, yes. But Cambodia, yes. very open, very liberal. Yeah. Why we do that? Because we need the resources, yeah. the financial resources, we need the technology, the yeah. know-how from mm -hmm. overseas mm -hmm. to come the into transfer. Cambodia yeah. for yeah. technology transfer, yeah. knowledge transfer to Cambodia. Mm -hmm. So investment incentive is yeah. very good. No exchange control. Mm -hmm. This is what I like the investor yeah. to yeah. really yeah. realize yeah. You're that. You're right, you're right. No exchange control whatsoever. What, what's the purpose of making money you cannot uh, transfer You can transfer out, right? money into the country. Yes. You can take it out. Yes. Yeah. There's no issue. Yes. Try with other country. Yeah. You can transfer money in. But yeah. take it out so it's like difficult. hotel california yeah, you can check in anytime you want but you can very, never check out very difficult <laughs> so that investment incentive is, is, is yes. very good very competitive yes. one-stop service we talk about cdc cib Cambodian mm. investment board is a one-stop service mm. so the investor mm. don't have to go to different ministries yes. you have one-stop service mm. where we provide you the information yes. We look at your application, we do the evaluation, we approve your project. Yeah, yeah. We help you with company registration, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. with the tax exemption, yeah. visa, work mm -hmm. permit, also mm -hmm. at the CDC, we can yes. help yeah. the investor. Mm -hmm. In addition to that, in addition to in investment incentive, yeah, yeah. look at Cambodia, where mm -hmm. do we locate it? Mm -hmm. I said Cambodia Geographically is speaking. right. We are in the heart or center of gravity yeah. for Southeast Asia. Yeah. So the location is important. Yeah. yeah. We have Thailand, big 70 million consumer. Seven you hour truck drive. Right. You have uh, on, uh, on, on, yeah. on our east, yeah. we have 80, 90 million consumer. Yeah. 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 But if we talk about one and a half hours yeah. flying time, yeah. we have over 500 million consumer yeah. 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 that you can serve. Yeah. In addition, Cambodia as a member of WTO mm -hmm. and you, yeah. you play a major role yes. in bringing yeah. Cambodia to WTO. So we have access to the world market. Yes, indeed. To European market, mm. to the US market and so on and so forth. And in addition to that, yeah. we receive GSP and MFN yes. for yeah. European country, yeah. yes. from European country, yeah. from the US, mm. which mean that any goods that produced in Cambodia mm -hmm can be shipped out, yeah. export out to those countries yeah. without paying duties. Yes. And that's a major advantage mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for the investor. Yes, yeah. Another competitive reason, uh, advantage. Com very competitive advantage. Yeah, yeah. 
investment protection. Yeah. The investor want to make sure mm. that the investment is protected. Yes. So our law, yeah. our law, yeah. our investment law mm. protect the investment mm. already. But in addition, you have the bilateral, bilateral also, agreement right? yes, yes. between Cambodia mm. and various countries mm. to protect each other yeah, yeah. investment. You have how many by uh, on thirty plus country now that, plus that country, we yeah. sign yeah. and we continue to sign. Yes. Continue yes. to sign bilateral yeah. investment yeah. protection. Uh, yeah. Protection. Yeah. Okay. Agreement mm. between mm. those countries. Yeah. Now Cambodia in terms of labor, mm. we have abandoned labor force. Yeah, yeah. As you know, the age, the population yeah. is very young population. Yeah. Between 15 years old mm -hmm. and 64 years old with 62%. Mm -hmm. So our people, mm -hmm. very young, yeah. dynamic mm -hmm. workforce, mm -hmm. natural resources, plenty of natural resources yeah, in Cambodia. Yeah. Okay. So that's some of the key element, if you will, mm -hmm. or key reason yeah. for, for investors yeah. to consider Cambodia mm -hmm. as investment location. Mm -hmm. Infrastructure, yeah. as you can see, yeah. is significantly improved. improved. Yeah. Dramatically, in dramatically, the last year. dramatically. Yeah, yeah, Since yeah. 1998, yes, yeah. when Cambodia yeah. really have now I can for peace. five for three and a half hour I can be in Batamor, the granary of you Cambodia. Can, you can go anywhere 24 hours a yes, day, exactly, safely, exactly. You know, yeah. smoothly. The mm -hmm. tra the interpretation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we upgrade our road. Yeah, we upgrade our deep sea port in Sinovil. Mm -hmm. We expand mm -hmm. it. We build a new container mm. port in Phnom Penh. Phnom Penh, yes. Phn Phnom Penh, see our uh, airport, yes. Sinoville Airport, Sim Airport, all international standard. And the railroad is coming Railroad, up. we upgrade, we rehabilitate our railway. Yes, yes. That goods can be ship, shipped mm. from Cambodia mm. to Thailand, mm. to Malaysia, to Singapore. That's the first stage. Yeah. Second stage, good and people can yes. travel from yes. b by, by rail, yes. Singapore, yeah. Malaysia. Thailand, yeah. Cambodia, mm. Vietnam, China. Mm. So that what we call Singapore Kunming yeah. railing project. Yes. So infrastructure is good. Yeah. You know, infrastructure mm. is good. Power plant, mm. various hydro mm. power plant mm. being built. We 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 have uh, how many power hydro power is being built now? What's a a few power plant being built right now? Yeah, let, yeah. let's put it this way that yeah. we just open inaugurated yes. the smart premises yes. inaugurated hydropower plant in Kamchai 193 yes. megawatt mm. we have the uh, you know the atai yes. atai yes. and all yeah. so few thousand more yeah few thousand megawatt megawatt more and then in addition design the MOU yeah. to study mm. additional 4000 megawatt yeah. yeah that's a lot of uh, mm. uh, electricity later on so so the price, the price will, come down. Will, will come down will come down dramatically and yeah. that will will help also yeah, yeah. reduce the, the cost yeah. of doing business yeah, in Cambodia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. now which sector are we mm. promoting mm. okay 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 yes so we promoting labor intensive industry okay so you see a lot of garment industry yes. make clothes or sure. labor intensive yeah, yeah. great jobs mm -hmm. fast mm -hmm. for Cambodian people mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're looking to expand to mm. agro industry. Yes, you know, yes. so that that a major sector for us. Mm. Tourism. Yeah, rubber. So, rubber. rubber. Is a, is yeah, tourism major. sector is important. Mm. Yes. Infrastructure. Yeah. 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 We promote the BOT. BOT. Yeah. Of the road, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the BOT of the airport. Yes. yes. And so on. Mm. We promote telecom sector. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So that yeah. that's a sector that we are promoting, mm. and we see more and more right now. Mm. Of investment into agro industry, yes, it's indeed. important. The rice we, sector, for rice example. sector is yeah. important. Our yeah. prime minister had uh, uh, announced the policy of exporting mm. one yeah. million tons of rice by mm. 2015. Yes, yes, it's important for us mm. to export rice rather yeah. than export rice paddy. Paddy, you're right, you're right. Because you can save. Yes, yes, you can save rice husk. Yes, if you do it here in Cambodia, yeah, to you create to job. Yeah, yeah, you create job, mm. and also you market Cambodia, the mm. brand. You're right, you're right. This right is produced in Cambodia, yes. for example. Yeah. That the brand name, mm -hmm. brand recognition that we yeah. need yeah. to build around and, the world. And, and for the rice, because you mentioned earlier about the GSP scheme, the trade preference with the European community, the Everything But Arm initiative, right. we can export zero duty. Exactly. I understand uh, uh, you, know, you save $193 per yes, ton yes, yes. if you export yes. rice from Cambodia yes. to, to a European country. Mm -hmm. So right there, that's As compared to Vietnam and Thailand. Exactly. Yeah. So that's important, yeah. agriculture. Mm. We need to diversify our economic sector. Yes. Today, our export mainly 
the garment industry, yeah. you know, clothing mm -hmm. to the U.S. and so yeah. on. But yeah. we need to diversify, you know, to rubber, mm. to cassava, yeah. you know, rice, yes. yeah. you know, and so on. Tourism sector is, do, is do, important do, for us. Do you see the future also in uh, sort of like uh, IT, uh, you know, uh, IT related service, well, you know? You know so we have uh, big companies here, yes. the Microsoft is yes, here, yeah, and yeah. so on and so forth. Yes. I mean, that is to start yeah. to really, mm. yeah, you can so uh, as a Cambodian outsourcing, too, outsourcing. An opportunity. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. outsourcing is in, yeah. in Cambodia. Yeah. Our labor cost is still mm -hmm. relatively low, mm -hmm. very competitive vis-a-vis yeah. -vis other country. Yes. So yeah. I like to see you know, Cambodia move mm. not from the labor intensive industry, but yeah. move there to a semi-skill yes. and to the skill yes. Industry. Exactly. exactly. I like to come to become like call center, if mm. you will. Exactly. You know. Exactly. We can pick up a phone and answer the call around the world. Yes. Talk about you know repairing yeah. appliances, for yeah, example. Yeah, yeah you're right. You know? you're right. So that yeah. it's important yeah. to move to that sector. Yeah, yeah. You know, knowledge base. Indeed. Knowledge base. It, I mean, the oil and gas is yes. going to be a major, major sector. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the prospect on that? Well, oil and gas, uh, we like to see the first drop of oil come yes, out from yes. our oil well yes. uh, by Chevron Texaco yes, yes. on I December so. 12, 2012 oh. at 12 o'clock. Yes, wow. That, that what's 12, our premise 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. That's so it, that, that's, that's a major sector for yes. us also. That, that will change the landscape, the economic landscape right. of this country when, when oil that is oil pumped. oil and gas, but you all talk about mineral yes. bauxite. Yes. A major bauxite field in Mandulkiri. Is that right? In Mandulkiri. What can you do Gold. with bauxite? Well, bauxite is a base uh, to make aluminum. Ah, it okay, comes from bauxite. Yeah, I see. Gold, gold also, right? Wow. It's uh, iron ore. Yeah, iron ore. It's important. Yeah. That yeah. just Right now, mm. just only mm. scratching the surface just, yeah, of what yeah. we have in Cambodia. Yeah. Wow, wow. Yeah. So, so but the prospect again, is great. Then. Prospect is great. Yes. I, I strongly believe yes. that Cambodia will move yes. move very fast yes. the next yeah. 10 you know, years or so. Yeah. Yeah. When we become part of the ASEAN community yes. by 2015, yes. yeah. you know, there's no, uh, we also got some duties, yes. no barrier. Yes. The barrier come down. Yeah with the open mind of our government yeah with the openness yes of our yes. government yeah okay you know i i, I we can I, move very fast yeah i i want to add something more yeah. from a lawyer perspective because right. i'm a lawyer yeah. and uh, i would say one of the things that uh, can can add a lot to the reason that you just mentioned yeah. is the dispute settlement you know that uh, we have an uh, commercial mm -hmm. arbitration law in yeah. place and mm -hmm. i was uh, I was asked to train the first batch of commercial arbitrator mm -hmm. and soon we will have a national commercial arbitration center and this is something that will add into your 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 sort of like your portfolio on the reason why investors should come to Cambodia because mm -hmm. they can pick arbitration mm -hmm. as a way to resolve this issue they can go to Singapore mm -hmm. they can go to Hong Kong they can right. go to KL mm -hmm. or they can go to France if, yeah. if uh, that may be yeah. uh, so so these are things Important. that I, I think it's a uh, it give uh, the confidence to the, 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 the investor to come to Cambodia right. yeah. we're coming to the end of the show unfortunately mm -hmm. what's your last word my last word please come to invest in Cambodia yes you will benefit from that. Yes. Your shareholder will be so happy. Yes. The Cambodian shareholder, which means all the people of Cambodia, exactly, will be very yes. happy also yes. because yes. we create a job. It's a win-win partnership. Yes. yes. Between Cambodian government, Cambodian people, yes. and the private sector. Yes. Cambodian government is very committed. Yes. Very committed to rebuild the country, mm -hmm. to create a better standard of living for yes. our people. Yes. But we cannot do it alone. Yes. We need the partnership from our yes. private sector. Yes. So together, yes. private sector, Cambodian government, yes. we can build a better future for Cambodian people. Thank you, Wang Yantor. Thank you so much for taking uh, your very busy time to come and share with us the perspective on why investors should come to Cambodia. So I want to say thank you so much thank for coming. Thank you very coming. much yes, yeah. for having me. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Well, Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you have a glimpse on why people should come invest in Cambodia but uh, don't forget that uh, as Cambodian we also have to be mindful of all this opportunity you know like uh, His Excellency Son Jung said our investment law is not only for foreign direct investor our investment law is also for the Cambodian 
take the time to understand the investment law. If you're an Oknya, if you're a businessman, go to CDC, uh, talk to them what you can benefit from them. Because I think a law is made also for us. We should take advantage of it. But the first thing you have to understand why. And today you have the pleasure to hear all the why we should invest. Foreign investors should invest, but also the Cambodian should invest. And how we, the Cambodian, should get prepared so that we can be a good partner, a good counterpart, a good joint venture, uh, a good supplier, a good uh, sort of like uh, associate with foreign direct investor. So on that note, uh, I want to say thank you for watching the show. And once again, thank you to thank you. Uh, my big brother, Excellency Sun Chan Tol. And uh, once again, good luck for your you. promoting Cambodia. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.